and just as the beat on that bit drops. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. First mate Rick here, the dancing lizard. <laughs> yeah, this track, uh, it also starts up if you wait long enough on the uh, start screen here. So let's. Uh, I, I kind of want to listen to the next verse just a little bit more. Uh, but yeah. Uh, me and Ricky were just listening to it or just a bit earlier before we started the pre-stream. We even delayed it just a little bit to let the music play on. <laughs> and it should get into the next verse right here. Actually, no, again, there, there is another verse to that, I believe, but it seems to be Cub not wanting to play during this. Oh well. When they delay it, it's just for it being a damn tease. Right, I forgot to do this. Uh, give me a second. The audio cut out there because I disconnected my controller because I yet again forgot to change out the batteries. But what I did remember is to turn on the battery charger that's connected to my computer. So now I just gotta remember which is plus and minus. That's plus and minus. So I put that there. And that there. And there we go. Now we should be ready. Ready to go collect that battery after stream because it fell from the desk. All right. Yeah, welcome again to Shantae Half Genie Hero, where we will be continuing with the normal mode for now. Uh, the one thing though, uh, after we're done with that, we will be. I've already said this before, but we will be doing. Okay, the game is being very loud. Yeah, I was just saying that I can barely hear you suddenly. Okay, let me just change that for a moment. Why is that so bloody loud? Oh, and that was <laughs> that's Rakia getting flashbanged again by the uh, by OBS freaking out. With OBS and Discord freaking out. Let's lower that by five decibels. Ah, I can see again. And I see. This one too. Okay. Uh, like I said, we will be doing uh, Pirate Queen's Quest and Friends to the End, and one of these. But uh, let's not do this one because it has a very, very, very dirty joke hidden in there, to the point that I have to ask why they even thought that was a good idea. Let's go. So yeah, let's go and <laughs> continue on normal mode. Here. And. Yeah, it, I guess my memory of this game was completely wrong or something because I haven't been able to find anything on that so-called Chibi Shante model or something. I, I have no idea what the hell I, happened with I, all of that. The Chibi model might have been a promotional thing. Hmm. Might be in the, like a, in, in early trailers, we stay Shane's later. I could be, but I remember playing it some a character like a character model like that. Yeah. Maybe it's just been completely excised from the game and from the community, but yeah. Yeah, uh, no, oh, here's oh, the thing. Hello. Some people would call this Shibi for some reason. This is very not Shibi. <laughs> yeah, except for the kid there. Uh, anyways, let's leave Roddy Top for a moment and actually go check up with everyone to chat because we finished off a mission last time, so everyone should have new dialogue. Let's see, Desert Eagles are known to drop monster eggs, but Nagas drop them more frequently. Hey, because uh, the lady over to the right wants a monster egg, but, and we did get one. Daters, the only creatures that like that work for the Techno Baron. A powerful relic was dropped in the sea near Main Street. We might have already found that. We found something in Main Street waters. There's a zombie over standing over there. Yep, we already knew that. It's been like she's a reference to someone. Might be. Let's see. Uh, oh. Oh. Is that monster egg for me? Yes. Nice. The fortress is built one brick at a time. So it, it, it yeah. So it is with your body. Never forget it. Still odd that the game was getting so loud. There's supposed to be a limiter on there to prevent stuff like that. I'll check that later. Here, rule it for your efforts. 
And a heart holder. That's nice. <laughs> For more health to go. Nice. Yeah, and I think I know who she may be a reference to. Who then? Uh, I'm debating if she's supposed to be a reference to Wonder Woman or she -Ra. <laughs> Maybe a combination of the both of them. She has like really? a rip here with uh, an oddly shaped hilt there. And that's probably a yeah, spot and on her back. Yeah, as it, 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 it's basically the weapon and she that's throwing me off. Like, the clothes looks very Shira or Wonder Woman inspired, but yeah, the weapons are throwing me off. And I forgot to start up the timer, so I guess we'll be going extra long today. Of course. Which I don't mind. Yeah, this is a very good game. Search behind the eastmost wall of the factory. Uh, I really like... Uh, I literally like many of these characters' redesigns. Yeah, and just the smoothness of the animation. Oh yeah. There's an old woman who lives in the caverns beneath the factory. I heard she often buys extra race tickets for her grandchildren. Okay, I get the feeling we're going to need to go visit her then to progress at some point. Take frustration? That's the matter carpet races. Tickets can be hard to find. Yeah, with all of these, oh. we're definitely going there. Use flame magic to cook monsters. Maybe they'll drop some meat. Oh, hello. Oh no. Yo. Hey, girlfriend. Yep, that's the first time they're named. They were named apparently in the manual of Pirate's Curse, but this is the first time they're named in game. Vinegar, yes, still. I still don't get vinegar. Your ammo baron soldiers. Don't worry. We're not here to cause trouble. We're on RR. Anytime we're assigned a new station, we make it a point to sample the local flavors before things get ugly. We've heard the food here is to die for. I think there's a restaurant over on Main Street, but it's kinda on fire. <laughs> Someone really should get to that. No, 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 not that foo-foo-y uh, foo -foo stuff. <clears throat> we're here to try the gator steaks. We heard there's some kind of reptile looking in the dark caverns of May or Mermaid Falls. To get the steaks served well done would be perfect. Make sure they're seared to perfection. Use a high flame to lock in all those juices. Yum. Pull this off and we'll give our extra uh, race tickets. Okay. So we have possibly uh, two ways of getting those tickets. Uh, and I will say this again. The, the tall one is still... While she is the most dressed, she is still one that looks supposedly the most erotic. Yeah, by, by combining a one piece with uh, others, you know, clean. Yeah, the, the other one, you can at least say she's just wearing regular clothes for a summer. But not the other one. Yeah, and finally, let's talk to Roddy Tops here. Hey, Snack Eggs, what's up? <laughs> Don't call me that. Okay. So listen, I've always wanted to go to the big race with my brothers, but those two are dead broke. Big race? The race ra the raceway of Cape Frustrate from real frustration. Bring me two tickets to the big race, and in return, I'll give you something nice. Roddy. Why do you have to be so difficult? Okay. I, 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 I'm surprised she can move so much. Okay, so we have... Well, we have our side quests, so to speak. Do you have anything to say? Nope. So let's just lift off then. After Mermaid Falls. Because, yeah, from the sounds of it, there's something to find in the first area and in the factory area. And yeah, now that we've collected some stuff, these are starting to repair. We found the one heart holder in yeah, in the town square, but there's two more things to find. And there's one of two in Main Street and some other stuff. I have to say this. I really hope some games will learn from this, but this will be very nice with this. Yeah, which yeah, specifically just showing this stuff. 
uh, that, but also you see the characters riding on the bird and being a bit more animated. Yeah. Something almost immersive about it? Yep. Uh, yeah, if we wait long enough, Shantae will swap between the <laughs> those two uh, selections. Uh, with this, uh, with uh, <clears throat> this, uh, the dances that she has available. Uh, uh oh. Uh, and, yeah, it, does, uh, oh, uh, uh, it is nice. Wait, what? What was that? There was a Naga. Are you sure? Yep. How did it, how did they get a huge act upgrade? Uh, quite literally, from the looks of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is a lot for us to explore down here, though we can't reach all of it, by the looks of it. Though that might as well be the way back. Uh, it would help if I didn't overshoot. <laughs> you, mean, uh, you mean overdrop? Yeah. We can't get that yet, because we have no attack in this form. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> that's such a horrible. What the heck? That's a horrible indeed. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? I, 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 had, I did not know that at all. I was just randomly mispressing buttons there. <sighs> this game just continues what? to surprise me more and more, huh? Yeah, I think I saw the creature again. And I'm not sure if that's a Naga. We'll have to see. We'll have to check in a bit then. Though we did, we were told. Yeah. I'm just back from dinner, so pardon me for being a bit perfy. <clears throat> uh, Naga. We were told that Nagas are one of the two enemies that will drop monster eggs. The most are monster eggs. Yeah. And we did get a monster egg from one, that one. And yeah, but. Uh... I don't sure this is a Naga! Well, it's a Naga. I'd say it's a Naga who's uh, taken a visit to Night City. With the, the cyberpunk upgrades. But the way she. Yeah, I don't think that's a Naga. I think that's a snail! Okay, oh, it puts us right back here again. She, she looks like she's she, she, like uh, what happens to you when you throw salt on a slug on a snail. I don't think the snails get techno magic uh, armor when you put salt on them. No, no, they evaporate or disintegrate. And I mentioned about how they died, not how they live. No. The, the damn armor is what's making it very hard. Uh, let's not take that too much out of context. Uh, oh, wait, no. <laughs> I mean, the, the armor is taking, making it hard to identify what the heck they are. Uh, from what I can see, they, they, are, uh, they are serpentine. They're, they're just carrying that armor on top of them, on their backs. The only time I see in Techno Nagas is from a Starbound mod. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's continue you, exploring. You, you you were there, Helian. Yep. Yes. Still don't have access to the transformation that allows us to get into those passageways. Oh, I accidentally swapped a bubble instead of playing the fireball. Still, that worked out. Uh, oh yeah, we need to get to the factory part to not get squished, for one. To get our hands on yeah. one of those tickets that we need. And, well, to find the gators that we need to kill. Yeah, I am very surprised. Like, all the mobs or such have been just being 
touched up, they're polished, but not being extremely changed. But the Nagia, they... That's a complete redesign. Yeah, not completely, but a big change. Well, so much for all that climbing. I'm so glad you don't take fall damage. Actually, let's take a check here. Uh, do we have the ability? Yep, we... There we go. Let's give us access to this, which has... Oh, hello! Oh. The mermaid dance. Which is almost a direct upgrade to the... <laughs> which, for the most part, is an upgrade to the crab. But again, it's... It doesn't have an attack either. And yes, <laughs> we can move heck? around like this. She looks more adorable for some reason now as a mermaid. No. Wait. I am still surprised they get away with her being topless as a mermaid. I, I'm kind of surprised they didn't force her to use a... You know... Shell bra? There is something here. But I don't know if we can break those blocks. With the elephant form, we would be able to, but there's no platform to stand on to do that. And actually, with the mermaid form, we can just go down here. And we can pass through this area now. Uh, the next area, I mean. <laughs> Oh yeah, this, oh this has dear. a lot more freedom of movement. Though I think we'll still need the crab here and there to break through blocks and such. Alright, that's good. That means that the crab is still useful. And that's how we get to this. This has... Oh, one of the gallery keys. Ooh! Not that Wait, why was it over here? But we can still go have a look there. But yeah, there should be 10 of those throughout the game. Okay, that's a lot. Hmm. Okay, that poses a question of how we break that. Because there's very obviously something over there. Crab? Wait, wasn't... There was talk of a relic dropped in the Main Street waters, and we're being chased, it seems. Or not. It could... There was one area in the main street waters that we couldn't access because the crab couldn't jump high enough. The crab from couldn't jump high enough. Could it be that whatever we need to get past those rocks is in there? Hmm. Maybe? Let's... We should... <laughs> okay, that was a cute little tune. We should be able to preserve all that we have now. And, yeah, let's go check out Main Street, then. We, if we still have the mermaid dance, everything has been preserved. I failed to look if, uh, if it was already tagged off. Yep, we still have it. I, I failed to check. If, I, I didn't look if it was checked off on the items on the level select. I have no idea why I kept crouching though for those attacks. Maybe, maybe I just think too little of the of the uh, tinker bats that I want to hit them below the belt or something. Dear. Ah right, uh, the mermaid charms some enemies, so they will leave you alone. So yeah, those, um, those bastards will leave us alone when we're in the mermaid form. That is good. And yeah, we'll also get plenty of uh, plenty of gems this way. And we we can't transform with this thing on. Come on, Damn there it. we go. But uh, I I'm tempted to listen to this. To Tomorrow, uh, if I play some uh, Total War Warhammer. 
It'll totally be unfitting. <laughs> Just Shantae music while committing war crimes. War crimes? I don't know what you're talking about. I actually usually prefer to play the good guys. And then commit all the war crimes. Okay, I'm actually not that brutal, unless I actually play a rare case in one of the evil factions. Uh, first time that I started up uh, Warhammer uh, or Total Warhammer 2, I went for the elves because it was advised, and the second time through, I immediately went to the freaking Skaven. I, I actually not tried the Skavens. I haven't but managed I do to know, complete uh, anything, but they are curious in some ways. Yeah, I, I, I usually enjoy fighting this game in some ways. Like, if I'm dwarf and have proper artillery. Oh. It's so fun to see this game, this game just fly about in terror. Hey, girl. I'm the adventure man. Hey, you an adventure like me? You like games? I got a game. Here goes. Okay. Guess what? Monkey butt. Nah, that was lame. Listen. Since you made it all the way here, tell you what. I'm giving you this Vorpal Blade. I swapped it from the Azure Knight a while back. Okay, so you're not an adventurer, you're a rogue. That blade is Wicked Vorpal. I even dunked it in, the, uh, in baby monkey tears to make it even more Vorpal. I don't think you know what Vorpal means. So Vorpal, it hurts. Okay. Are you okay, man? Have you, have you been drinking uh, salt water here? Let's uh, see. Well, it probably would be salt water, definitely. Uh, hmm. I think I'm only noticing one thing now, and that is that this game actually doesn't have any maps. Hmm. Okay, that, that, now I can see why you always get lost, since you're a pirate, you almost need maps for everything. No. Uh. Wait, did you say Azure Knight? Azure. Might be a reference to Shovel Knight, maybe, but Shovel no, Knight no, no, doesn't no, 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 use no. a Vorpal Blade. Oh, uh, uh, maybe? So, when I hear Azure Knight, there's someone way more terrifying I think of than Shovel Knight. Oh? Nightmare from Soul Calibur. Isn't he typically dressed in red or such? No, no. A bit uh, darkish blue. He he's called the Asher Knight. Okay. He beside Nightmare. But I guess he's freaking lucky to have survived his encounter. Or yeah. Did he, did he steal the freaking Soul Calibur from him? No. This is also what makes me confused. That would have been a. Says he wields so Soul Edge. Yeah, that would be a. Uh... A thing, this Chante with the bloody Soul Edge, or Soul Caliber, whatever it, it was again. Uh, there's, there's two. Soul Edge, the evil sword. Soul Caliber, the good sword. Hmm. Uh, let's take a quick look at this thing. Yeah, we don't, we don't get any. I have no idea where the hell that thing is going to be used. Probably as a trade Ow! or something. It can look like you you whip your hair right into the eyeball. Okay, once again, we can just cheese this with the monkey. Yeah, and also I have to say applaud for attention detail. Like normally on levels like these, especially when it's like this, when it's an invasion, it would look weird for stone blocks just pop in and out all the way all the time. But I'm seeing what's just doing that. Yep, we the, see the Tinker Bats actually bashing the building. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think it's, that's how Stonework would work, but at least it, some explanation why it's doing that. Yeah. Hmm. This is way more than other games will do. So, do we get what we needed for this? Yep, that's where we got the monkey bullets. I 
don't think there are... Yep, there, there you can see them again. Oh, I, I did not see you behind the, the leaf. Uh, yeah, someone really should just clear out the Pinker Bats. Risky, get the fuck over here and get your men back. Yeah, it reminds me, I can't forget the... Uh, I was to say something about Risky Boots, but then we got distracted. You, you, you know Risky Boots game icon? Uh, when we were at the menu? Yeah. For a moment, I thought she was giving us the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she totally would. Yeah, she just actually was holding out her pointy finger in a very weird way. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to have her uh, have her flip you off at one point or another. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> now that we've done that, we could have we could have used the whistle before, but oh well. Um. Yeah, let's go back to Mermaid Falls, warp to the factory part. Hmm. Okay, the warp blade wasn't considered an item there, or not an important enough item at least. There's six more of those skulls, okay. Holy. And also, the more I look at that bird, the more I will feel like I've seen a bird like that on Ark during one of those holiday specials. <laughs> but there, there's uh, holiday colors. Not the one that I was praying for. There we go. Warp. Oh, they put the nope option as the first one there. Probably to avoid people from teleporting around too much. Or by accident. <clears throat> but yeah, now we just need to go kill a bunch of gators to get gators take. So swap that back to the fireball. Oh, is, is, now we have a Is this what? Oh dear. So there's a new variant of them. But I was ask, is this steaks they carry with them or are we actually eating them? Probably eating them. Yep, that's one. And whilst we're here, it's, oh, only the crab can squeeze through that. Yeah, yeah, this game is kind of dark, ain't it? Yeah. And that's the... that's a blobfish. Uh, what the...? Is the blobfish uh, supposed to be an easter egg or so? But, oh, wait. 2018... Wasn't this game released around the time... The Blobfish was a meme and recent discovery? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm guessing they're collectible, seeing as there's another one there. And yeah, these electric bats. You, you can take an easy guess with them. Don't hit them whilst they're electrified. Look at his legs go! <laughs> Okay, that's the second stake that we needed. So... Now we just need to go look around here. Oh, there's another of those skulls. Yeah, sunken soul. And... We can't get through that. But there is one of those blob things here. So, what are you? Blobfish kid. Okay. Are we gonna hand them over to the parent? Likely. Wait, is that a blobfish boss? I don't think so. Not by memory, or maybe they put that in later. Because it does seem that they have added quite a bit to this, or they have possibly added to this game quite a bit since last I played. And I'm going back now for a second to check, can we get up there? There's probably yeah, something hidden there. There is one more off game after this one, correct? Yep, at the moment. All right. And there's a DLC for that one then, I guess. 
Uh, not that I've heard of specifically, but I haven't kept my ear specifically on Shantae's stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure when you made me talk about Shantae, I found a, tra a trailer for a DLC that was, at least back then, seven months old or seven weeks old. Okay, so it could mean that there is DLC for the fifth game. Thanks. Yeah, it might be a good idea to investigate. Yeah. And again, something we need to break with no option of how to break it yet. At the moment with the crab, all we can do is jump around and do this. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. We we'll just have to continue looking around here until we find whatever the hell we're supposed to find here. There's another those blobfish uh, kids, and there's oh this that we can break open now. Uh oh. Oh. I can see who we're supposed to bring the kids to. Oh dear. And also, I just remember, I think I looked up the f mu Shanti music. Maybe I had a showcase about this game. Yeah. Or one of the other games, I think. And that was over a year ago, so yeah, the DC might be over one year or two old in the band now. Hi there, young lady. I'm Grandma Blobfish. I'd offer you to sit for a spell, but I'm in a bit of a kerfuffle right now. My grandkids and kids have run off, you see. Keeping tabs on the little rascals is like raking steaks over dry, dry cereal. Not sure how that's supposed to work. They're right around here somewhere. Could you spare some time for an old woman? Sure. That's wonderful. Yeah, I've got something for you. Crab Claw. It'll help you slice through all that grass and stuff. There are five blobfish kids and all. Please tell them it's time to come home to Grand Grand. And that's hey. how we get through those grassy blocks. Yeah, and I have to be honest, I mistook her lips for a mustache. <laughs> okay, that's number two. So yeah, when I saw the blobby, I thought it was I thought it was supposed to be the grandpa or the dad. You can also use it to attack. Uh, we can break those though. We'll probably have the mer we'll probably get some upgrade for the mermaid dance to break through those blocks. And he isn't in the sunken soul. No idea what those are for yet. Okay, slip on through. I gotta be a bit careful with the controller since it is a bit sensitive on when you press down or not, or when at least when it thinks you are. So I'm actually just pushing the controller. Uh, to the side and up a bit to specifically avoid <laughs> Shantae from just dive bombing one of those spiky things. Oh dear. Okay. And then the last few should be around here somewhere. Yep, there's one. And we are missing only two, I think. No way we're making that jump. Okay. But yeah, they did they designed things pretty well with this game that I believe all forms remain relevant. Okay, that's four out of five. Because yeah, we need the craft form to squeeze through little areas like that. And the, the merm even though the mermaid form has superior mobility. Yeah, I kind of like that. For indeed, it is like this. It's good that uh, you have as many forms as useful as long as possible. Let's take a look here quick for a moment. Deal with you and any heals? Yes, thank you. 
back to monkeying around. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I think that was something in... S I don't remember which game or maybe... I've heard that in some of the, one of these Shantae games before could be stuff that we missed in Risky's Revenge. Maybe that su some forms become uh, yeah inferior to others that you unlock later. Because there, there have been quite a few forms that we didn't get in those games that were basically upgraded versions of others. Ah, alright. What's that? You found my grandkids? Oh my, oh my, you found them. This, uh, this makes me fist, uh, fit the burst with rapturous joy. <laughs> I'd like to give you something in return. Let me check my creepy handbag. Yep. And that's one of the race tickets that we need. It's a ticket for something or other. It came in the mailbox, uh, posted paid. So it's probably something young folk are into. Off you go now. Okay, well, that's one of the yeah, one of the tickets, and Quits and Vinegar will give us the other one in, in exchange for the stakes that we've got. But let's still continue on looking a bit here for other underwater areas in the next area, if there are any. Oh dear, Twitch and Vinegar. I, I would love to have an explanation. Who the heck came up with the idea? To name it, I'm that. Uh, actually, now I think about it, I... Th no, we're not going that way. I think there is something that we can reach now uh, that we have the bullet, uh, monkey bullet for me. Or monkey... Yeah, monkey bullet ability. That we weren't able to get to before here. I think it was on the left side, and these rings are going really fast. Ow. I should have dealt with you before. That's a big ass, <laughs> big of meat coming from a freaking bat. And you stole her lunch. Okay, let's leave the gators alone. Okay, they put a bath there. Really? Uh, we can still sneak past. Yeah, I think it, there is something in the upper left of this map, or, or this room, that we can now get to. With the monkey bullet, which I've said now for the third time about. So let's actually get to that. Down. And I believe it is right above here. No, it's higher still. This level has quite a bit of verticality to it, huh? A yeah. Lot it, a lot of it to fall oh. back down from. There we go. Three. Is it up here? Yes, it is. So there we go. And that is just some gems. But I did spy something up here. Yes, there we go. Another portal. And hello. What? Bat dance. Which is the fourth up there. We, we can only move side to side, though, with this form. What? Yep. It's nothing we can climb to over there. Oop. But yeah, that is going to be useful for getting around some places. But, okay. <laughs> Not entirely connecting there, but oh well. well. Skip one entirely. Yeah, but there are some hidden places now that we can find with this. There's you mean a like there, the... Yeah, I was to say, like that? 
<laughs> and that is why this is here. I, I knew this was for something. I was just wrong about what exactly it was. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look later. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what we need for that room, but we don't have access to it. Oh, now we have two of these smocks to dance around. <laughs> There we go. What was yeah, that sound? Just... Yeah, that was them uh, groaning as they get knocked away. No, 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 no. It was a special sound you picked up the yard. I must have missed that. What? For now... Miss Lamia. Let's stock up on these. Uh, let's see here. Health for magic. Uh, magic for having damage. These are pricey. Dryad dance to harvest fruits. I still don't know where this is from. But we don't. I don't think we have the, the, spe the, the dance they want to trade in for. For now though, let's actually get this one. So, reveal all health in exchange for magic. Okay. But yeah, we often have more magic than we need, than we have health. So, yeah, that'll be a very useful dance, I hope. For now, yeah, let's get out be because I don't think either of us will really want to do the uh, conveyor belt part again. Hmm. Okay, back to Scullet Town Square. Hand over the stakes. And, uh, yeah, new mission or new level will be unlocked. And we can also. Well, we just saved. Anyways. And, yeah, then we can see what Roddy Tops is planning with a. With a way. I almost said race. Race. Yep, yeah, here they are. Oh man, this is one succulent slice of gator. Melts in your mouth. Smack. What do we owe you? Uh, okay. Alright. That extra race ticket. Here you are then. See you around. Bye bye. Okay, whilst we're here, we might as well use up that key. Yep, concept art. So let's have a look. Bonus art and okay, we haven't unlocked some of these. Okay, some of Risky's work. Some Something of the PGM4 thought you gave to be the finger. <laughs> oh, a face we have not seen yet. The third one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm curious why she does that. Okay, that would have been a, <laughs> quite a sight. Okay, this must be some of the more chibi-looking Shanta that I was thinking of. And some of the other guys. Not really chibi. It looks, it just looks like her at the moment. Yeah, this is a bit, a bit more different. It really makes me think, what the hell was I on to think? Uh, let, let's just not bring it up again. <laughs> and those two have run off. And now we have both tickets. Oh yeah. Race tickets. Did you get two of them? Yes. Now what shenanigans are you up to this time? What a pal. It's promised. Here. Dark Shard. Oh wow. This is just what Uncle was looking for. 
Where were you? What were you doing with a shard of dark magic anyway? Don't ask. Say, why don't you join us? You could meet Abner, Poe, and me at the raceway. No thanks, Ready Tops. It's been a busy day. Come on, gotta enjoy life where we still can, right? That's the dead girl. I'll think about it. Right now I have to get this shark to Uncle. Yeah, what were you doing with the Shard of Dark Magic, Roddy? Were you up to something again? Either way, any luck finding a Dark Shard? You're back so soon, and with the Dark Shard, no less. You're not still worried, are you? Nope, here. The Shard goes on top, see? There. And then we can guess where the Light Shard goes. Just like that. Two more components and their worries will be over. Eh? What now? Uh, hello? Who's this guy? Can you keep a secret? Nope. A heist? Shh. I was working under a vehicle so they never saw me. But I heard the whole thing. It's going to happen at Cape Castration. Why the hell am I having some difficulty with the words? During today's big race. If they find out who squealed, I'm a dead man. I was never here. Cape Castration. I messed it up again. That's where the annual magic carpet races are held. An act of foul play could put hundreds of innocent spectators at risk. Here, a map to cake frustration. Did I finally get it right? I think so. Thanks, Uncle. Good luck with your machine. I'm off to the races. I part of me would love to hear the game fully voice act. Yeah. Uh, let's take a quick pause in here to refill our mana. Magic. Magic, mana, potato, potato. There's something about his design in real life, I don't know why. Uh, let's see, I don't think we have enough. You know, we could do that one. Let's not put that one. We can't afford these. So, let's, let's get this one just to have it a bit easier to collect stuff. I kind of wonder, wonder if all of these have names. Mm, probably design names, at the very least. Can't wait for the big race. Okay. Well, let's head on out. Sky, I, Sky, I need to go to Cape Cost, Cost, to the Cape quickly. Magic carpet races? What for? I'll explain on the way. Ready to lift off. And there we go. I think in the background there with the eggs, it's still the same eggs from the very, from the second or maybe even the second, uh, from the previous or maybe even the second game. I'd be impressed for the detail. Though I would also be a bit questionable of uh, Sky's capabilities as a bird breeder that she still hasn't managed to hatch those eggs. Either that or each nest is specific for specific species. Could be. For now... So it's a attempt to keep it organized. Could be. Would somebody please tell me what this is all about? And what she's doing here? Hey, be grateful she shared her tickets with us. Now listen up, you guys. The mystery man back in Skull Town believes there will be a large-scale heist during today's big race. Someone's after the magic carpets, and so everyone's a suspect. Okay, a bit of a tune. Yeah. I'm going undercover, posing as one of the pilots. Guy and Bolo, you two will watch from the stands. 
And Ray Tops. I'm working with the pit crew. <laughs> Check this out, I'm a zombie pit girl. <laughs> it does look good on her. So where did you pull that out from so fast? I'm sure the fans will eat it up. And if she eats them up first. Shush you two. Oh. The text box showed up before the sound. <laughs> Sounds like you're on deck. Let's do it. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, this level is a bit different than the others. Because it's actually an auto-scroller where we have to keep moving Ooh, on from that. carpet to carpet. And yes, we can knock these people the off. The cable for my... Yep. <laughs> oh no. I, I failed to notice that Shante was bouncing around down there. <laughs> well, so much for all of our health. And there we go. Just gotta keep on moving. And I don't know why these are sinking. Is that even the... Is that even the correct word for when something... Crashing would probably be the better word. People used to say losing altitude. I don't know if that would kind of sinking. Okay. Bringing some things here. Yep. The animation of the shot thing. And. Well, they did say they were going to. They were checking the place out before causing trouble. <laughs> Here comes another flying carpet vinegar. Get ready to nab it, Twitch. Twitch, vinegar. So you two are the thieves. Hey, we've got orders from up top. Sure. Yeah, surrender. Yeah, yeah, surrender the magic carpet, girl. Go get it. Fine, have it your way. Right. Yeah, take off my headphones to put our cable inside. The aerial assault squad. And I forgot you don't actually move the <laughs> Let's quick eat that quickly. Yep, we've got a two with the two of them. Yeah. Too late to just put up the spell. Okay. Yeah, these carpets are going to be circling, they're going to be circling, we need to take them out, and they're going to take turns attacking. That one. And yeah, you can see what their app attack patterns are. <laughs> one throws bombs, the other shoots. And then there's this. Uh-oh. Good timing on the carpets reversing there. So I'm pretty I sure the like bubble wouldn't be able to take it out. Yeah. But always the, 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 their aircraft see, feels like a reference or something. But I don't know what. They looked so weird and familiar. That is a... Oh, there goes one of them. Just barely ducked that. Got the last of those. And yeah, when it's just one of them, they're just going to keep continuously doing their attack. Probably best to just keep this up. Come 
on. Gotta have the carpets working with me a bit here. There we go. I still forgot which of them is which. <laughs> that takes care of those two. Now to find out where they were taking those carpets. Yep, they're only a mid boss. Yeah. So I'm kind of curious. What would Ammo Baron have used for magic carpets? Well, a lot of his stuff is aerial. And having something that can fly just on its own. But we, you seem to be more tanks. Okay. Yeah, the thing with this is that there's going to be these level. Uh, there's going to be, well, in this part at least, there's going to be part level. In, where did you? There's going to be insides to some of these ships. Yeah, these are sky ships. Yeah. He's moved on from a ground assault. I guess he doesn't like a flying carpet due to the like, Sure, a magic carpet may not be able to handle a cannon fire blast, but they probably way more nimbler than these. Yeah. Nimble enough, probably, to be a should it be a threat to an airship like this. Is going to keep spawning. Okay. I'm pretty what sure the there's heck? supposed to be an end to some of the D's. Let's just let's just die. Apparently. Hmm. Did I miss something there? Were we supposed to take out the engines of the upper ship or something? Maybe? Oh, nothing too much lost. We respawn at half health, half mana. But we get a full refill anyways. <laughs> Maybe you should have thought that one through a bit more, dude. I saw the first one, but not the second one. They're where they just fly! But <laughs> you knock them out like that. Well, we are going high speed here. Yeah, uh, uh, stay attention to details. Oh, now I see what they're throwing. Yep. Good old uh, stick grenades. Oh dear. And actually, honestly, I learned something about the. Uh, I think it was both first and the second world war. But there's a. Very common weapon was used a lot that's not usually mentioned or shown in games. Okay. That means... But it was extremely... Uh, I will repeat it. This was a weapon that was extremely commonly in use. Spiked clubs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Especially when a lot of combat is going to be up close. Those would be useful. And seriously... Oh, Alright. I don't remember this at all, and we just lost two roasts. Wait, how? They despawned there. Oh. But seriously, do we have to take out the half of the ammo army? I'm missing something here. So why do these ships have those... Actually, they're probably not castles, they're probably just counter rates. Why did you... Have to look for another way around. At least the progress was kept. Yeah, maybe you're supposed to jump on top of it somehow? You don't have a high jump or anything like that. Hmm. And I don't think we're missing anything required. There's nowhere to jump into. 
Hmm. Are you supposed to run past them? Uh, there are a bit many of them to do that. Like this. Okay, so why do they continuously respawn then here? I think that's supposed to be the, a challenge in and by itself. But the only way to get past them is to run through and take damage. That's just a bit odd. Yeah, unless there's a ability you don't have or forgot, like the bubbles. Um, maybe we could have charged through with the elephants. Actually, we haven't seen if there, we, there's much combat use for the elephant yet. It would make sense, realistically. Sense. True. It's like, it's a damn elephant. Uh, if we run into another of those ships, we can try it there. Yeah, but I don't think they are armed with elephant guns. Uh, more some sort of SMG. Hello. SMG. Oh, you mean sandwich make you guns? <laughs> I would wear those. So why the hell are the cannons smiling like that? Oh, hello. Uh, you, you have noticed many of them have animal hats that are smiling, right? Yep. Then why the heck do you ask why the cannon is smiling? It's still just an odd thing to have. Ask the Ammo Baron. You seem to be a rather cheerful guy. Okay. Luckily, we spawned over there. Uh, but first, also, a uh, good amount of health. Okay, two full hearts. Still have plenty of. <clears throat> we have plenty of potions. Uh, yeah, let's stop. Let's stop monkeying around and get through this. I'm guessing those are instant kill or at least high damage. Instant kill, but low damage. <laughs> sometimes, like, sometimes I get the feeling that games are specifically just pulling stuff to try and prove me wrong or right in this case. Yeah. But I feel like that happens extra much uh, when I watch other play games than myself. Do I have my other situations, like uh, when I play Skyrim? I... Uh, it's one of those weird things. I... I... I, I struck a dual sword, crit on a bear, and instantly kill it. Stabbing it uh, in its sides. Then suddenly came the same tooth right after. And I thought, oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I was already on low health. Then my character proves me wrong. By instant critting this saber tooth as well in the same way even though it looked like she was giving it a hug and this was again a situation i thought i was i was dead but no my very first trick against the damn saber tooth was an instant kill crit okay we're not getting through that quick enough so that's for something okay. else yeah maybe missing something here also, uh, there. Okay. I feel like that dude is rude. We're not a dog. Okay. Of course, as I say that, there's a very loud dog stone is starting having a barking fit. Twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, and we're out of mana. Okay, these grenadiers have quite a bit of health. Uh, wait, <laughs> did he just throw a grenade in the back of head of its comrades? Were those really the same grenades from before? For those, look more like shell legs. Looks like there is a bit here, but no, there's not. 
Okay. There's the next ship. And the next area. I wonder if they will ever give her a voice. Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, now we find the return of the instant death <laughs> spikes. Also, a very unfortunate soldier. <laughs> I was actually going to see if I could crush him against the wall, but crushing him with the crate itself is good enough. Should you get more shot like now? Uh, Let's do a test now. Okay, that does that deals a good amount of damage, but it has a also a good opening for us to get hurt by. Yeah, but it seems like you could almost use it as uh, a version of you know what sword skill from the last game. The give it a dash. Maybe if we can get some way to extend it, certainly. Oh, yeah, this... It looked more like he was throwing dynamite. <laughs> and there are different was. variants. Could be, yeah. There's a little sneaky thing here. Again, these flowers. What is up with those flowers? Yeah. Wait. Where is the war? Better not ask. <laughs> or Chante will never leave the bloody shower. Either that or something that she should not even be swimming in for other reasons, since it would instantly kill her. Yeah. Like gasoline. Yeah. Okay, I think no. I remember. I think there's another upgrade for the crab that allows you to go up waterfalls like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, he has the club. Uh, no, he wait, has it what? In his hand, but he's still throwing. That doesn't look like dynamite to me. Okay. <laughs> Like, yeah, the early ones looked like they threw those clubs, but this one... Ah. Smart the, positioning. This one is throwing something else, even though he has it in the, his head. What is going on? Hey, hey, what the... I forgot that was a trope in very old games. Yeah. And even as a kid, that did not make sense. Early. Okay. Uh, right back, I'll go grab something more to eat for us. I think that this new bread I bought due to my regular bread is, is not uh, was out of stock. It's rather lacking in, you know. I don't remember what's the word here. Flavor, fiber. N neither does more like you don't feel it doesn't satisfy you it, it, the hunger for long okay not to properly feeling so to speak so i'll be yeah. right back so i'm gonna say this but apparently this works don't die we'll try yeah and this time i'm gonna need to take off my headphones since they're recharging it right now Oh, damn it. Okay. Yeah, I remember this room. They'll just keep spawning from the edges. Hello. Uh, I'm pretty sure those spikes are instant kill if we hit them, so let's not. Instead, let's... There we go. Another portal. Uh, oh. 
Okay, so there's spikes there. And there's spikes there. Okay, we need some light in there before we can get anywhere. Actually, there's no need to... Because we just got to crawl through. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And you just can stay there. Let's see some... Yep. Yeah. Damn it. I duck one and I hit the other. Okay. Uh, heal dance. Yeah, we should probably prioritize using mana, magic, whatever, over our healing items when possible. There you go. What are you I'm back. About? Welcome back. Well, there are some of the carpets that they stole. And if I remember correctly, then. Yep. This should be just before the boss. Yeah, so. Wait, they had massive things with different car carpets. Are they. Are they dismantling carpets? You'll see in a sec what they are up to. So here's the big dumbass himself. Oh. <laughs> Somehow it just had to be you. Blast it all. The airship got billions of crowdfunded dollars. For shame. You thought you could win the race by cheating. The race? Ah. I don't care about some stupid civilian air show. And I don't care about the prize money neither. Huh? I'm after global conquest, air supremacy, baby. Or baby. Armored ships are, are good and all, but I need airborne troops too. But being as how the magical silkworm is endangered, and is also very cute, I'll just take the magic silk I need from these losers' carpets and use it to manufacture magic carpet uniforms for my men. Magic silkworms? You can't be serious. Well, what else do you make magic carpets from? I'll demonstrate. Men? Deploy the MCUs. <laughs> Bush. And now he looks like a, <laughs> a genie with patchwork pants. Uh, you don't see the reference here, do you? M. Bison. Oh, that's his name? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot his name. Let's show this hot little tamale a nice tight formation. Oh, Here come on. Go. Limited edition loudmouth. <laughs> and yeah, he actually uses his men as a shield. Do want to do the counters projectiles, but we don't have any mana to test that with. Oh dear, my Odin. But yeah, he makes for a pretty tough fight. I died plenty of times before him when I originally played this game. Mostly because, yeah, he, like you said, he uses this as a shield, and they are hit on their. Your damage on hits. I'm pretty sure his voice lines are new. Yeah, they yeah. actively come back to him. And yeah, M oh, MCU, Magic Carpet Units, or Uniforms. Yeah. They're literally just dive bombing. And no, I think, here, things get pretty. I think MCU became a new thing also after this game for well, Marvel Universe, I think. 
Yep. But that's what. You know, that, that actually uses the C instead of the S. It does? Come on. Maybe the does, yeah. Maybe that's something I not thought about. Uh, let's just use a potion. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how to dodge most of his attacks, so I just be beat on him as much as possible. It probably would be smarter to just try and will away his shield, but since they keep coming back, I don't know how effective that actually is. Is he going to get a third layer now? Yes, he freaking is. But the Oh, come on, freaking controller. How, how, these bellies are supposed to be full. At the worst time. Luckily, I have a second set. So, there, there, and there. And I put these back in the charger. I do think batteries do lose some of their durability with time, but these, these should still have lasted a long time luckily they're rechargeable of course don't don't put non-rechargeable batteries in a charger you're going to blow those things up Ooh, i did not do that i would have just would it work but blow up Are they actually coming back now or not? Nope. Okay, I think we were supposed to wait for those bits for him to launch them away to leave an opening. Okay, expanding out. Just keep hitting them. Get rid of as many as possible. Actually, just beating the uniforms off of them. <laughs> okay, opening. And yeah, we don't have much of an opening during each of those windows. Okay. Do I have it, it uh, those it, it spike ball things? Uh, we don't have any of... We don't have that spell, I believe. We have bubble and fireball. So, but, yeah, spike balls would have been very useful here. And there we go. Yeah, it, it makes sense for Ammo Baron to actually use his army during his boss fights. If he's going to put on a fourth layer, I'm going to <laughs> take this controller or something. Oh, come on, you can do it. Just gotta clear out as many as possible. Oh, they're going... Nope, they're just going to break. There we go. Stupid look on his face. did you're grounded all that work up in smoke Serves you right, Ammo Baron. <laughs> hello is this thing on ladies uh -oh. and gents it looks like the ammo baron has trashed all of today's participants all about this purple haired newcomer that is judges 
<laughs> we have a winner. Uh, yeah, just leave all of them for the infirmary to collect. <laughs> Dear. Uh, daughter of the genies, welcome to the genie realm, blah, blah, blah. We've done this song and dance quite a bit before. What? Mouse dance. Ah, I see. Yep, that is how we get into those little spaces. Uh, okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> There's the little maze to get through easy enough. Uh, and all clear. I don't think we have seen that anywhere other than the Mermaid Falls, though. First place, eh? Sounds exciting. Let's see what you've won. The lifetime supply of Mermaid Falls was famous. Can't monster chow. Eh, no, especially now that I know what's in it. I'm pretty sure that supply has been dried up already before it was even shipped. I'll take it. Gotta enjoy life while we still can, right? How is your machine coming <laughs> along, Uncle? Just look how lively Rod is! <laughs> it's almost done. I've got the power supply hooked up, the magnet is charged, and I can already see you know, dark magic particles accumulating in the containers, in the, in the containment sphere. And I guess that means it's time to look for a light shard. Think you're up to the task? We're soon to find out. I'll get Renz ready to fly. Yeah, ready to fly. Is that cook now? I don't think she's going to get that desperate. No, no, I meant the bird. Yeah. Good luck and be careful. When we were at Mermaid Falls, I saw a twinkly light. Could that have been a light shard? Yep. You know, I hear there are hidden rooms and passageways all over that desert tower. With that new elephant power, you, you could really wreck up the place. Yeah, because we can we can break those uh, turrets uh, with the uh, with the elephant form. For now, though, again we're going to question everyone in town. Buying a warp dance could help you get around more quickly. Dancing is usually a great way to stay in shape, but your elephant dance makes you heavy enough to withstand even the most powerful winds. So that is how we get around all well, the sandstorms. There's a weird old wizard living in Mermaid Falls. Okay. The traveling doctor? He's at the bathhouse right now. Traveling doctor. I guess that's not going to be Dr. Livesley. Better not be the play doctor. <laughs> the desert town hides a powerful magic. But no one I know could fit into such a small entryway. Okay, that's mouse uh, form. Uh, well, how what would you describe his expression? Done with existence. I would move, I think of I'm so done with my day job. <laughs> a strange man who you know, studies ancestry passed, yeah, passed through on his way to the desert tower. Okay. Okay. The mighty stomp, you could pop thingies from beneath the ground. Okay. okay. Uh, let's use that second key before we go talk to the guard. You were still not on speaking terms with. More concept arts. Let's see, mausoleum. Okay. 
Bunch of location drawings. Very nice drawings. Uh, we haven't gotten to that place yet. Shante's house, which for some reason is still <laughs> so far away from everything else. Today's Scuttletown and Hobbit ground level sketches. The ground level? They were expect they were planning on putting multiple levels on. Okay. Scrolls on a hub, rough 1B. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah! Mermaid factory ideas number two. A lot more technological yeah, technological than it ended up with. Uh, number E is the closest that we... Uh, is the closest to the end product. Product good. Yeah, kinda. Let's see. A bit more refined. And that's that. Okay, let's see what the local meathead has to say. After Shante does a little dance again. <laughs> Looking for a light shard? There's a strange hermit who lives in the desert tower. Perhaps he can be of some assistance. Okay. Uh, but first, let's head to Mermaid Falls. Wait, wait, wait. We were to visit the bathhouse. Uh, yeah, the... Okay, totally not uh, suspicious looking. Why? For some reason, I mistook him for you. <laughs> okay. I think it was a lab coat and the glasses. Oh, they're completely out of leeches. Oh. Hello, and what's the reason for seeing me today? Are you allergic to any medications? Do we have a history of stomach problems? Happen to know the date of your last physical exam? Well, if you ever need a checkup, just come see me. Okay. Ah, oh, I, don't, I expected something more. I guess we have to find. We have to get him later or something. For now, though, uh, let's see. There's probably something on in the Main Street waterways we can find now that we have the Crab Claw. But for now, let's head to Mermaid Falls. Uh, to, to, yeah, we might be able to find more in the waters here with the Crab Claw, as well as uh, with the new Mouse Worm. Uh, yeah, I've heard of people calling uh, smaller women mousy, but Shantae takes it a bit too far. That's a term I've not heard in ages. Okay. <laughs> the moment we paused that on the look on the crab's face. <laughs> okay. Oh, poor buyer. Oh, oh, we can actually get rid of these like this. What? Are you telling me we could have made things so much easier? Well, we do have to be on the spot the same level to hit them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll need the mermaid form to look around more there. So let's go do that. Okay, what is over here? I think we went. I think we took a look here before, but just to be double sure. Yeah, there's that that we can't break yet. This cyclops face looks so disturbing. Yeah, I was trying to get in between them. Another How would one. you do that? Hmm. And there's those all again. Okay, so that's all we can find over here for the moment. We need some. We probably need an upgrade for the mermaid to get to, yeah, to break those blocks. So for now, let's just move on. Hmm. There's probably also some things that we can find now with the bat, since we can travel long distances with that. 
even if it is only horizontally. Mouse. Okay. This connects to there. This connects to here. And I have a feeling I know how they came out with this idea. How then? Someone was drawing the concept for all of these details, and someone just ended up by being bored uh, using it as a labyrinth play, and there they realized they could do a game mechanic from this. Yeah, where do we need to go with this, though? Or do we even need to go this way? This doesn't connect to anything. Hmm. We go the other way. Okay, the knuckles don't like mice. Huh. Okay, no clue what to do there yet. Maybe we'll get some more answers later, or if we find some other thing. Actually... Yeah, I think we need I think we need to enter there and somehow end up through these blocks into this one here then there yeah thank you uh alien hmm? you're not gonna be alone in there yep let's not get squished like a bug no be between this stonework I want to know who the heck gave the Nagas uh, new weaponry. Uh, seeing as where they are, probably the Techno Baron. And yeah, it looks like we're really going to have to get from here all the way over there from this. I'll just. I don't see how the, all of that connects. Maybe if we need, to, maybe we need to break these blocks or something. Hmm. So there should be an entrance somewhere that has access to everything, but it's not here. I'm just completely missing something. Hmm. Let's take a quick check at the other end here. Nope. And this just leads back out again, I think, to the same start. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Okay, we're overlooking something for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't see how we can possibly cross over here. The sides of this one is open for some reason, as is that one there. Oh, oh, hello, oh, no. there we go. I, I missed this bait because of the waterfall. I did as well. There we go. Okay, we don't need to hold down the breaks and crawls. You just go to the end of a path, whichever way you point. Okay, that's going to save my fingers just a bit. Now, you then. Oh. Easy enough to get around. Okay. Yep, now. Shante will actually stop at the end, so she doesn't accidentally eject herself from all of this. Nope, that way. 
Kilian. Go. No time to be playing Pac-Man with those things. So I hear that uh, an old Pac-Man game got a re-release recently, and hello. Ah. Oh my gosh, a wizard, right? Oh, don't worry. I'm a good wizard. You got any candy? I'm a sucker for candy. In fact, I'd raise a town to the ground just to get my hands on some sugary sweet. Uh, ignore that. Inside voice. <laughs> but I could use some candy. And we don't have candy. Okay. But you just doomed us all! Okay, luckily it's not an instant kill. Still hurts. Hmm. You own your love health now. Hmm. Okay, we now know. We know he's there now. And what he wants. We just need to find out how to get candy. He wants candy. He wants candy. I'm not going to sing the rest of the song if I don't remember it. Yeah, I think the line goes like, we want candy or something like that. Yeah. As a kid, it was funny, but as I grew older, the song became... Annoying. Yeah. It's... And I feel like, like it was a, even a, a parody of another song that went very similar. Tracing back the line to see where it might start. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. There's a kid version that is about candy, but the original was about a woman nicknamed Candy. Okay, that's a new one for me. Yeah, at least if I'm right. Then again, one of the hit for kids songs was Boom Boom and Bunty in My Room. Yeah, that's from the Vanga Boys. Yeah. When I finally saw the music video... Yeah. It really... How to say... Make you question things. Okay, I did not expect that. And yeah, even, I didn't even look at you, the, YouTube, uh, the YouTube comments on that video, since I found it through YouTube, uh, the music video, and... I was not alone. Many people's childhoods shattered after seeing it. Let's see. Do we have to again, to go into the bat form? I would say this. I can see why kids like it for... It's one of those songs that a kid can easily see innocently. Just the way they sang it. It's just not would it become obvious until you see the music video. Yeah. Okay, here we can get in. And let's see where this leads us. So we can ho hopefully get at least one bit, one upgrade from this area. Yeah. And let's see, we have. Oh, yeah, we have extended night time. We have about half an hour more. Uh, about to. Okay, it looks like they keep going until they hit something. So they're not going to take any uh, turns along the way. Uh, yeah, we still have about 27 minutes left. Okay. Hmm. Is this going to lead us to another portal? I think I remember seeing a portal with on stone like this. Hmm. Oh. 
Okay, and this is... Okay, that's not as useful. A gallery key! I can open a gallery! Okay, hop on down. And continue on to hopefully something of a better reward. Like, the, the oh, art no. is nice and all. <clears throat> yeah, do. Hmm. I, I know it's a mouse, but still... It doesn't feel like as cute as the others. Yeah, probably because they just didn't have much, as much room to work with, specifically because it's a mouse. Yeah, especially at this tiny of a size of a mouse. I honestly would have expected the mouse to be purple. I can I agree with you. I'm gonna surprise it, Cyan. Uh, that's going to hit us. We stay there. Curious. Hmm. Also, I just remember something again. This is also recording a bit old in music. If I was playing some game, I had some music in the background. I think I was playing to the Warhammers as the Wolves, and then I had some Warvis music playing. Okay. And suddenly, YouTube decides to play, since I had it allow it to switch songs, very similar, but for some reason, I decided to play Dr. McDoo. Okay. And I, I was going to caught off guard about, well, Sure, Scottish accent, but um, maybe the song went probably a bit way out of play compared to what I was doing, killing orcs. And, oh, okay, that is a good upgrade. Ooh. Still would have been nice if it had been. Uh, a power upgrade, but I guess that's what we're getting. Well, what's, bleh, what we're going to get from the wizards. And let's see. There's nothing new that we can get in the next area at the moment. So finally, I don't interrupt that sound. And uh, yeah, next up, next destination is Tasseltown then. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Most of the new stuff we should be able to find... Well, we can actually go underwater now as well. But most of the new stuff should be in the tower. So we'll have to race with... Uh, <laughs> we'll have to race with the pet again. Because... Actually, do we have to or not? Oh wait, oh! You're like, those are the Desert Eagles! Yep. I expect them to have something else as a name. Like Garuda or something. Well, they're certainly not the me metal kind of Desert Eagle. Metal? Kind of, are we talking about material or uh, music? Gun. Right. The pistol called Desert Eagle. Yeah, I was thinking, is he really mean with pistol or he's mean with something else here? Um, a bit of you. I wasn't sure they all would normally build that much metal or not. Let's see, I think I remember something about one of these sand falls. Actually, giving access to somewhere, but I don't know which specifically, or if that is even a correct memory or not. And I think all of that was the dart's wind, so let's take the elephant form for a moment. Wait, are these smaller versions of it? Are these Wilbur's kids? Could be. 
Yeah, I thought there was going to be wind there, but no. Hmm. Okay, next time we go back to the Scuttle Town, we're buying the next magic, or the last magic kind. And probably yeah, an yeah. upgrade or two. Yeah, I was to mention, you probably should start uh, buying some new upgrades. So probably a good idea to get as much gems as possible. Is there any specific reason we'd want to put those on there? Hmm. Okay, we don't have the we don't have the stomp available at the moment. That is probably how we're going to get through that. There we go. There we go. Wait, can we drop uh, trick the bird to drop bombs on uh, loose rock? Maybe. Let's let's actually check that after we put this one in place. Wait, it Can feels like like on the other place they just threw cactus monsters, but here they threw bombs. It, it feels like one of those things that could be a thing. You. Okay, just wait for it to head over. Maybe missed. when you missed. Or we just kill Shame a monster you. flying above it. No, that does no damage. Would, oh, have been, well. would have been fun if that was a way to open that up. But no, we need the elephant stomp. Yeah, but I think, yeah, I think you can see why one would think that. But that seems like a thing they would do in some video games. I think probably have even done that in some video games. Yeah, we did similar in Rayman 2. Yeah, that's a good example. I think I think we might need to stomp those totems. That's why we need to put the head on top. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And this is... What? Yep. A spider dance. She's a drider! <laughs> this is what form we needed for that room with all of the spikes in the factory. What the heck? Okay. You. We'll have to see what other places we can find with that. But uh, yeah, I'd, of all of the Shante games, this one certainly has the most <laughs> the most uh, ways of getting around, huh? Yep. Uh, I'm kind of impressed, especially actually given each form a use. Come on, rid of you. Those angry faces. They look comically adorable. Yeah. Well, no water for us to explore there, but we did get a new move. Uh, hello. Whoa. You a grave robber? Not me. Genealogy guy. Build your family tree and what what. I'm not looking for remains. Remains are all around us. You can tell where they're buried because the flowers grow there. Okay. Well, that explains Flow all of them. Uh oh. Person goes into dirt, person turns into plant food. We got unearthed and remains. It's a dirty job, but it comes with the territory. Bring me five remains. They're in this tower, just gonna figure out where. 
Also take this. Elephant storm. Okay. One thousand something. Use that to stomp those flowers. Stuff might pop out. Okay, wasn't there a... Okay, there wasn't one Wait. Just right there. Hold on. Hold on. We need to use stomp on the flower. And here we thought we to use the dryad dance for the flowers. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're not going to get chased yet. And oh no, yeah, it's one eyed guys. snakes. Okay, I thought I thought they only spawned for a, a finite amount of times, but they're just spawning in bursts. Okay. That's one of them. Okay. We'll have to find all five of those. We can't reach that one, so there's nothing behind that. Shante taking a one-eyed snake to the face. Uh, I'm not going to give that a dignified reply. I believe there should be something hidden behind that, but I don't think our charts can hold for long enough there. Actually, we can get. Okay, didn't expect that. Wait, there's a will, there's a way. Even if it needs to make means making an elephant fly. There we go. And someone is still not gonna get bonked. I wonder who. You have an idea who? Mm, maybe. But that would be a spoiler. One power. Actually, how far, how fast can we get around here? Okay, not enough reach. Okay. Yep, I can see. I think I can see what pot you may have gotten the sheepy thing from. And uh, as I was saying, is some of the animals or one of her, like the monkey form. Could be, yeah. Uh, and that, that, that monkey is very sheepy. Where did we go? There. Those form is so tiny, I missed them. Okay, and another key. Okay, that means that we have two to turn in, I think. Yep. Okay. Let's get out again. Leave the very angry cactus to itself. Yeah, well, actually, are the cacti? Uh, close to it, I think. Can we? No. Hmm. I've. Oh, well, there you go. I'm pretty sure there is something hidden behind that uh, gargoyle head, but I don't know how we might be able to get it. Shantae needs her coffee. Okay. Yeah, I can hear the... I think they use... Let... Uh, I know the voice actors have various uh, funny transform lines. Yeah, no need to go looking there, because that looks like it only has uh, gems for us. These two do look more promising. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Two to go, and the other one probably has one of them at least. Uh, 
let's just fly through here. So, we've actually put it at that height. You failed! Go. And just more gems. And a bit of health. You, you do need the gems. Go. Since we do plan to buy upgrades and all that. And we've already gotten 170 more since we started. Since we said that. Okay, no remains this time. We can probably find something behind that. Another key. Yay! That combined with the other two that we found makes five total of ten, I believe. Yeah. And also, for people curious, when I'm speaking about bonking helium, I mean the meme one where you bonk him with a baseball bat. Yep. Okay, can we break that one? No. Ah, that one. Ooh. I I just realized something. Mm -hmm. uh, you you know you, how you love the hammer in Minecraft with your mods? Yep. With the anvil you can name it. Yep. And I may realize a good name for your hammer. But the tears bonking stick? Uh, no, no. Wackus Bonkus. Uh, Wackus Bonkus is a bit smaller than those hammers, but would still be fitting. Yeah, it still would be a good reference. So we could do something inspired by the name. So let's see. Wackus Bonkus, so. What would be a... Hmm? Uh, I just got an achievement pop-up and looked over to OBS, but I didn't seem to have that over there. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Capture third-party overlays. There we go. Uh, save, yes. Uh, we just got, <laughs> just got the achievement Squish, which I presume is, well, by killing something, by pushing a block over it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, that's a good name. Crush your squishes. Now we could definitely make oh. a combat hammer. Yeah, a, yeah. Wackus Bonkus is probably a good name, but it could be a good, a nice, uh, have a similar name for a combat hammer. Okay. There's probably a flower up here somewhere. Hope we can crush that. And that. So one of these should have the last remains. There we go. That's five out of five. Now we just gotta find our way back down. Oh, we just go there automatically. You deliver. Those remains for me. Nice. A two. You got sick. Really? Sorry about that. Got you sick. Might want to get checked out by the doctor. Why, oh, thanks, dude. The heck? Wait, we didn't get a reward? proper reward? Just... Oh, I see where this is going. What does a doctor give uh, uh, when someone has uh, been good? Yeah, uh... I realized that I already got that. I just dawned upon me there before you said a word on that split second. <laughs> oh. okay. Phil, th this is an idiotic way to do that. Well, it's better than taking and stealing it from my baby. Okay, I agree with that. I. 
I, I we still do to say this through the day. Someone that steals candy from a baby? That's just... Low. I wouldn't be surprised if Guy if there was ever an idea in one of the Monkey Island games to have Guybrush steal candy from a baby at one point or another. Okay, seen all of these. You don't look so good. Did you want to get that checked out? Yes. If you gave sick, well, okay. Oh, you're not feeling your usual self? How long has this been going on? Hmm. I think I have just the thing. Okay, you're going to feel a tiny poke like a viper digging its fangs deep into your his throat. You might want to not have <laughs> metaphors like that or comparisons like that. I'm kidding around. You're already cured, just like that. I bet you didn't even uh, see or feel it. Here. Yeah, that, that is one thing, that's one trick that doctors use to get kids vaccinated by distracting them with something else, like a toy or having their parents play with them, and then just, well, give them the vaccination whilst they're distracted. And most of them don't even notice it. Yeah. No. Growing up, it's a thing we, it's not done in Sweden. Like, I met only one doctor that did that. So the others were just bastards? I think like they... They... I think there is more case of... Uh, it was not really healthy to give kids that kind of candy. And some kids were turned really, very, very hyperactive from the some candy. Which would make it worse. I don't actually remember if I ever got a treat from a, a doctor or not. <laughs> yeah, no. I just realized. Hey, I think you're gonna face punk from this. The ones we, the doctors we usually did get candy from, were not really your regular doctors. It was the dentist. Uh, well, it's just okay the job. <laughs> I, I think it was only for two, three years that they stopped. Probably it is the one I visited. I would not be surprised he got told off. Uh, okay. That is for being a good patient. Come back and see me in six months for that physical exam. No snacks the night before. Not even water. Okay. You can find your way out by going through that door. Dude, this isn't your place. <laughs> okay. Less of a creep than we expected. And we have a few minutes left, so let's go... Uh, <laughs> let's go feed that wizard sugar to uh, sugar craving. Sweet tooth, that was the line I was going for and completely bungled. Oh dear. Also, I hope that poof isn't them just crashing. <laughs> when they go into a level. I hope not. Uh, flower? Scrap metal? What's that going to be for? Hmm. So I'm pretty sure Shantae is doing the butterfly uh, crawl or something. Or the butterfly stroke? But yeah, butterfly stroke. On sure, I want to know frog swim and uh, dog swim. There we go. Yeah, butterfly Do stroke is when you use both arms to well, stroke at the same time. It could be the uh, this frog stroke that you're thinking of, just just under a different name. Yeah, for. I know I heard of uh, the butterfly, but yeah, but that, that one seems to be more the fancier version. Okay. Wasn't this one? There's still gotta be some reason for that one to be there. Transform! 
See? Nope. Back in there before that. Ow. Okay, I was partially expecting just an instant death there. Okay, uh, yeah, we're going to feed the, the wizard's cravings, then we'll go visit the shop, and then we'll end the stream. Oh, look at that crab's oh, face. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. We can get a closer look at mobs now like this. <laughs> okay, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Wrong form. Uh, Wait, what? what she, hmm? Is she on the other side? I, either she despawned or she got moved on to this one. I think she despawned. <laughs> that or she uh, got on Friday ride. I think she may get the impression off by the cliff. Uh, I'm don't think the game was it, the game was really supposed to be keeping track of monsters moving around on platforms like that. Okay. Yeah, I, I've stopped the timer because it was about to go off. We're still going to just keep on feed the, the wizard's cravings, and yeah, he was what the sparking stuff was all about. Then we'll go back to town, get upgrades. Trying to get in there. Wait a tick. I thought you didn't have any candy. But now you do? Have some. <laughs> the other option, what candy? Come on, Shante. Wow, I mean, wow. They're in the out of nowhere. You, my friend, are a real wizard. Here, for you. The light shard. That's a light shard made out of crystal. Wizard's gotta have a crystal. Wizard's gotta have a crystal, right? Am I right? Answer me. <laughs> Just kidding. We're good. You enjoy that. I guess that might be you in a few years. <laughs> Maybe. For now. Or me. I don't even... I think I heard a similar tune before, but it... <laughs> I think it's a very generic tune. I don't you can hear it several things. Probably used for nostalgia here. Could be, yeah. <clears throat> so we're headed for the shop, and then we're handing in that light shard. I'm just going to give up on breaking those because I missed completely. Okay. Fill up on those. Get the pipe ball. Not yet. Let's see. Super tracks from a greater distance. Mirror. A shield that rebounds attacks. Hmm. That's the bubble upgraded. Maybe. Let's see. Let's take these two. There we go. Half damage. And. Either, up, no, either attack speed or attack damage. Let's go with damage. And that leaves only the last level of that. Let's see. Metronome. That's more of a quality of life thing to move between this, <coughs> the dances faster. And let's see. Shall we upgrade one of these? The Storm Puff? Is still powerful, but I don't know if it's too useful for us. Hmm. The mirror or the attract could be useful since it would make it easier to, you know, get the cash. Yeah, we already have a one version of it. it. It would just draw it in from a bigger distance. I'm thinking mirror for now. Shoe that provides total invincibility for a lim invincibility for a limited time. Not invisibility. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go heal up and save up. 
Okay. I think I know why he's here. He's trying to get up courage to ask her to be his nurse. Okay, they haven't changed yet. Uh, let's hand in that shard. Hear it about the next problem, and then we'll call it. They found the light shards. That's for me, right? Yes. Who else in this place would be looking for a light shard? It attaches right next to the dark shard, right up there. Wonderful. There's only one piece left, Uncle. Yep. We're almost at the end. Oh gosh, speaking of which, I need to split. After all, gotta enjoy life while we still can. It's not going to catch on as a catchphrase, Roddy. Roddy, why do you keep saying that? <laughs> huh? Oh, haven't you heard? About... The end of the world? The hypno Baron is summoning a creature of unspeakable horror. Yeah, you could have dropped that on us earlier. I want to squeeze in as much fun as possible before the beast begins its world-ending rampage. Say what? <laughs> now I'm reminded of uh, Amphibia. Because that was... that became... <laughs> a catchphrase of a uh, hop up. No, hop up. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I could use a lift. I'm going to ask Featherhead for a ride to the Hypno Baron's castle. Maybe I can get a front row seat. Here's a map if you want to come. Just, well, they say that some people just want to see the world burn and others just want the front row seat. Yeah, also, I have to say this. Uh, you have the term living dead? Yeah. Rotus Hobbs is the lively dead. Yep. Just look at her move! Um, oh, she, she's gone. <laughs> There's no way I can stand by and let the Hypno Baron summon some giant beast. Just one more time, Uncle. Then I promise to help you finish your machine. Ugh. So many distractions today. Just promise you'll be careful. Yeah, apparently this is all taking place over one damn day. <laughs> I will, Uncle. Yeah, I find it usually a bit annoying. I, I, I would just say, try, try to let it expand through several days, not just one day. Uh, but, but here it just it fits in a bit in just how chaotic this world can be. Or in another <laughs> way, you could put it lively. <laughs> if the world ends, I'm taking tomorrow off. It's supposed to end today, Bolo. There won't be a tomorrow if Hypno Baron has anything to say about it. Hmm. More scrap metal? I, I guess a robot died here. Or something. There we go. Game saved. And we haven't found who that Vorpal Blade is for. Probably something later on. For now, let's exit the game, move over here, and go look for someone to raid again. Right? Let's see, that's the video producer, seems I forgot to keep open a tab for the ch for actually watching something. I prefer the dynamite harpoon launcher. <laughs> Uh, let's see, da, 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 da. Soviet Womble is on, Takahata 101, they're up to something, oh. but they have Oh, they are hilarious! <laughs> yeah, Team 4 Star. It, it is, a, it is, uh, it is a shame that uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged came to an end, but it's probably better that they ended it than having to drag it on and eventually just getting tired of it and running out. Wait, Maybe what? someday they will revive it. But that would be for someday. Wait, are you telling me Takahata is behind that? I think they're one of them. Or is the, are they from... Uh, the VTubers. Uh, they, I th He's Takahata a bartender. From some, yeah, he, he was part of Team... Or he is part of Team 4-Star, I believe. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, did I know, not that, know that. They have, they have, uh, they've done some side stuff like top tens and such. And during the last one, they he popped up saying that uh, he couldn't partake because he, well, he moved on or didn't move. Maybe moved on. He was busy with VTuber stuff. Yeah, even uh, even uh, the guy Heavenly, the guy behind Get the Flamer, the Heavy Flamer <laughs> from Soviet Badgers videos. Soviet, do you, don't you mean Soviet Womble or Soviet? I haven't heard of a Soviet no, no, Badger. No. Russian Badger, Russian Badger. I mean. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> anyways, let's take another look. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Halloween forty five forty five is doing Solstice again. I wait. Stre oh, streaming Dead by Daylight and Solstice. Apparently, Dead by Daylight got a new patch. And the rest is lost because the title is too long. <laughs> uh, oh, then we have Touch Scaly Tail, who is streaming The Wandering Village. Um. Graham the Wolf, who is streaming Divinity Original Sin 2, which is an amazing game from what I've heard. A game you can fuck around with a lot. <laughs> an RPG that's almost an immersive sim. Oh dear. Uh, Shanker Crab is still doing Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Hmm. Okay. And then we have Portatum, who is streaming Red Dead Redemption. I'm guessing two. But... Can you show me the title? Did you say Tatum? Yeah, it's Tatum. It's that's just the full username on Twitch. So the other potato. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you want to go raid uh, Tatum then. Yeah, why not? Let's raid some potatoes. Okay. Just copy paste. Go to our channel. It seems they only just started and they got a freaking banana thrown at them. <laughs> now they're just oh. breaking out in laughter. Okay, let's quickly oh, move on there. Thing. Oh, Tatum. Tatum. Okay, slash rate potato. Um, okay, before I actually start that, I'm going to change the screen share on Discord to the browser. There we go. So you can actually see it when we move along. And hear it once I unmute yeah. it. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, still a lot of fun in this game. Uh, thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. Um, yeah, thank you, as always, Rakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And let's see. Tomorrow, we should be able to get in at least another one or two streams. One at the very least. And it is actually... It's a Tuesday. Uh, maybe we could get a start with the new Minecraft world tomorrow then. Uh, if we're going to do a second stream in the evening, it'll probably be a bit easier because from uh, then I'm doing, uh, then I have two early shifts with work. So I will have to, well, go to sleep earlier, thus have to stream in earlier. So <laughs> it doesn't overlap too much. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'll be up for that. I'll be up for that. But uh, yeah. Let's start the raid for anyone who is who, who is here. And uh, yeah, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, people. And watch out for badgers. <laughs> Especially uh, Soviet ones. <laughs> Dear.